And as a, a learner with special educational needs, what should my child's school be doing to support them? I know, as you said, it, it's so it's so different depending on what, what the child is experiencing or what needs they may have. But um, is there sort of a baseline or what can I expect? I think it's quite a difficult area to navigate on whether the school is doing everything they can to support my child. Um, it, it is obviously going to depend on what those needs may be. Um, clearly, you know, if somebody has difficulties with attention, for example, or ADHD, you know, it might be to, you know, give them breaks so that they can move around or give them a fidget toy. That might be totally inappropriate for, I don't know, someone with cerebral palsy who has a, you know, a speech impediment and they don't need, you know, they don't need it. So it will mm. be, it will be very dependent upon what people's actual needs are. Um, the key point is that, and I'll come on to education, health and care plans later. The key point is identifying what the child's needs are and what is required to meet those needs. Um, that is looking at from the special education needs side. And then in terms of disability, sometimes there may be a need to make reasonable adjustments. Mm -hmm. um, you know, at a very simple level, that might be giving the child more time to do a task because they have physical difficulties which make writing harder or if the physical difficulties with make which make writing harder are such that they you know really can't write in a way that mm -hmm. is legible maybe it's you know assisting them to learn how to use a computer and learn how to dictate um you know those there would be special education needs there there'd also be making reason you know the reason the reasonable adjustments the two sort of go often you know very much go hand in hand um but say i'm looking at somebody who has difficulties writing just using it as a relatively easy example it might be that they need specific um work on their fine motor skills there might be input from an occupational therapist who would suggest what they need to do to improve their fine motor skills, what exercises might assist with that. Um, so that's working, identifying what the needs are and making the provision. 